Hello, Keith here with Math Fun and Games. Today we're playing, just my mic. Today we are playing MBT Scenario 3 with all basic, advanced, and optional rules. We are on turn 11, part 2 of turn 11. We're entering the movement phase now. Okay. So we are entering the movement phase. I did spawning. No, actually, it's a combat phase. No, actually, it's the first air phase. Okay. First air. Oops. The ace. There is no aircraft on the board, so there's none. And now we're going to do the combat phase. And we have the indirect fire step. So do we have indirect fire? So in order to do indirect fire, what units on the board? You have to have a unit in Overwatch as a spotter and a unit with a fire command. And the unit with the fire command cannot be in direct line of sight with this target. So I don't think I have any oper indirect fire opportunities for either vehicle, either section or unit. Okay, so there's no indirect fire. Next, we'll go with the direct fire step. And if you look up here, I already did the, let's see if I have it, if I put it on looking for my there it is right there that little nato counter on the rosette that means that nato has the first one the initial overall initiative so for each phase they get the advantage so nato fires first okay and they only have one unit that can fire and that's this this unit right here no they have a bunch Okay, so also what I did, I took the units that were heavily stacked and I put them on this chart over here to make it a little bit clearer. All right. This is the transport and summary track. And I'm doing this because it just makes things a lot clearer. And the map is less common with less crowded with counters. So it makes things a little bit easier to understand and to see what's going on so and i might imp i might improve on this later we'll see or i might add another one of these we'll see okay so my big units my big firing units are these and i also i want to fire this one right here first all right so this right here that's a mortar and it's my mortar units actually go do direct fire. Mortar units it has an option of doing direct fire. So that's going to be the one I'm going to use. And we're going to go to, it's a 106 mortar. And it's going to be direct fire GP. Also has dual fire with its mach medium machine gun. Yeah, no anti-air because there's no units flying around. So now I need a target. So it has to fire against closest unit because I'm using the fire priority rules. So it has to fire against the unit closest to it, which is this armored vehicle right here. Now if I had somebody else firing against that armored vehicle, I'd be able to fire against the soft targets over there. So it's really not smart firing that right now. Because that mortar, that's not gonna that's not gonna do that much against it against a buttoned up tank. So I'm thinking that I might have another unit fire instead. But I mean I really don't have many options. see so i have another tank right here oh it does that has a line of sight excellent okay 
The only thing with that is it will lose its not. It's in a building. It's held down from all sides. Well, it only has light cover, though. That's the thing. I'm not sure if I want to rebuild that yet, but I'm going to. All right, so it's going to be firing at its target in the front side facing. Okay, and that's going to be range seven. I think that just misses point blank range. Yeah, just misses it. So it's going to be short range. Short range. Armor piercing. APF SDS. I forgot what. And that's a kinetic energy type of ammo. Uh, mod modifiers to the laser sight, which is going to be so it's going to be laser sight, which is going to be uh, plus two. And it's going to be veteran unit at short range. Should be. Oh. I know there might not be modifiers. There's no terrain modifiers. There's no smoke modifiers. Yep. Yeah. No other modifiers for that. Oh. Oh, I can't fire. It can't fire because it's Overwatch. Oh, shoot. Man, should have put it. If I don't actually had target, I would not put it in Overwatch. But maybe the unit behind it, when the unit behind it moves, but can't fire unit unless unit moves. Oops. Or fires because firing unit is in Overwatch. Okay, so that's not going to be an option. So I'm maybe I'm stuck with because that's that's just ineffective. It's ineffective against that unit. Oh, I shouldn't I should not put it in fire. Maybe I should have did something else. All right, well, I don't know what the commands for these two are, right? These might be fire commands. I technically don't know what they are. Can I flip them? I can't. What happens if I put it invisible? Nothing. So I'm going to wait. And hopefully this command or this command is a fire command. And then if that's a fire command, still can't fire on it. It's going to have to fire against this one. All right. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to fire against that one. That stinks. It's, oh well. It's like a pop gun or a BB gun against a tank. It's not going to have any effect. But okay, at least it's a legit target. Okay, uh, let's see. So we're firing GP, direct fire. GP. Fire. With NMG, with machine gun. Me and machine gun. As dual fire. All right, so we do the GP direct fire first. Now let's check the range. Let's go over here. That is the 106. So that's going to be point blank range for the purpose of modifiers. So we're going with. Point blank range and the GP O will be seven. Now, the question is, what modifiers do we have? Uh, so now you look at the modifiers. So, it's two different systems there's the armor piercing ammo and the GP ammo, they each use different charts. 
a target is a vehicle. Target is an A type vehicle, minus 20. Vehicle minus 20. What other modifiers? Medium cover, no cover. Uh, aerial track, no shooter, and no nothing affecting the shooter. No smoke. Open ammo, Overwatch. Uh, I have. I want to check the ammo limit just in case. Uh, over and I see him. Dual fire. So again, same target. That's dead, but that will be for the machine gun. Hasty entrenchment. CE ammo. No. Airburst. So shooter grade and weapon sights. Point blank range. So it's another. So the only modifier is going to be a A type vehicle for a minus twenty modifier. Now we look at the GP defense. So the GP defense for the T80BV is 8. Yeah. It, it's like I said, this is a... It, it, it's a large layer. Not much of a chance to really do damage, but we'll roll it anyways. Okay, so the attack factor is going to be 7, and the defense factor is going to be 8. We got a 58 and an 89. So we got a 58 or greater to suppress, and 89 or greater to be effective and then we would have to check the chart to see what effective means and there's a min minus 20 die roll modifier all right let's roll it 66 minus 20 so we got 46 is the adjusted die roll all right and i need 58 greater to suppress so no effect. Next, the dual fire medium machine gun. Okay, so we go over here. And now we have the dual fire. So it will be at <laughs> medium range, firepower 2. Medium range, which is medium range GP offense two. I don't even know if it has a chance to hitting. Okay, the modifiers are we got minus 20 a type up. A target. And then we get a minus five dual fire. All right. So it'll be a two to eight. Two eight. I need a 78 to suppress or 104. All right. 78 or greater to suppress or 104 to effective and I also have a minus 25 so it's basically gonna it's not gonna be effective okay no effect but it's good just to go through the process of doing the dice roll and that just to practice doing it Okay, so that removes its fire marker. Right, delete that. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay, so now we do uh, initiative roll. NATO, 33. 
Warsaw pack seven. So NATO wins oh. and fires. All right, who's next? Uh, I'm going to fire this guy right here. And we'll have to pull back just a little bit on the map. All right, so the only target I have is there. Just have to pull back a little bit. We were at 30. So I want to go at about 28. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's check this out. We're going to start right here. We're going to go there. All right, that's blocked. That is not blocked. That's range of 15. That is not blocked. All right, so now we do all the... So those are the targets. Now I have some infantry and I have number four and five. All right. So here's box four and five. So th those are the units that I can fire at. So I'm going to fire the firing, that firing unit right there. Right, so I'm going to basically target. I'm going to fire a target five. That's the that's the unit I'm going to be firing at. So I'm going to actually put that back on the board next to the spot. Uh, put it off the map board. Let's see if I can get on the board. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why it's doing that. Used this feature before. Okay. Uh, See if I can put them on individually. No. So I'm not able to move these back onto the board. Oh, I know why, because I had I had the wrong mode. I had the uh yeah. I had the yes. I had the line of sight mode on. It's a bunch of different modes. I'm trying to think. There's another game that has a bunch of different modes. You switch between. Okay, so that, that's the target right there. All right. So it's going to go through some brew up smoke. There's also a knockout, knockout tank. So I'm going to use a tow two. And to take that missile, it's going to be short range. And the modifiers are going to be short range, so the base, right? And we'll do the die roll modifiers are this right here. So we're going to short range over here okay uh target's not moving target's not in cover it's not doing a short halt there are no fire there's a brew up smoke so hmm, brew smoke minus two row shift i shouldn't put a because that's technically not a die roll modifier. It's a row shift. Verb smoke minus two. And that's big, I said. Yeah. Verb smoke minus two. Thermal imager, barrage. It's not overwatch. Ammo limit, defensive fire. Dual fire. No. Target acquisition. Okay, so the only other thing there's going to be is going to be a veteran unit. 
short range that's one so i have short range with a minus one row shift on the ap to hit table all right let's do that short range with a minus one row shift So I need a 63 to hit. So I have a two and three chance of hitting and it misses. And that's it. Just want to see if there's the Bradley that fired. It's a miss. Uh there's a toe. <clears throat> I fired. All right, so it's a miss, and that's it for that unit. For that, I'll say. I'll eliminate that. Oh, did I clone it? And we'll bring this back down to 30. There we go. All righty. Okay, so I have meanwhile these right here. This is number five. I can put this back on the ch off board chart here. Okay, along with the fire command that it had. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Next up, we'll have an initiative. NATO gets 65, NATO wins and fires. So the only ones left that can fire for NATO are 6, 7, 8, and 9, are those right there. Right, I'll just move those around to show you. Right. So those are the ones that can fire. Pull those up. All right, those all have a fire command, so... Go through them one at a time. So first we'll do six. Bring that on board. Oops. Do this. So we're gonna bring oh no, they're in Overwatch actually. Shoot. So the only ones that can fire now are eight and nine. So let's bring these on the board. Okay. All right. So eight and nine are firing right here. All right. So there, I believe they have a limited choice of targets here. Well, let's do it. So that's, they go from here. Yeah, very limited. All right, so they're going from here to there. Oh, now I got to figure out. Figure out. Ah, okay. So that right there has an extra, you know, as extra vehicle over there which doesn't actually exist so let's throw that away it goes over here there goes right go back to right here okay and those units are actually over there okay right there all right so i can get rid of the fire marker All right, so the range is going to be 14. There are three different targets over here. I'm just going to try fire, firing at the vehicles. Just 
basically means number four. All right, so the ammo is going to be. It's going to be like this. So the range is 14. That's medium range. So which one has the best chance to hit? That's all that really matters. I can I can probably take it out with GP. Well, I have a very good chance of taking it out even with GP. General purpose fire. Does right. those GP the BMP twos have a GP defense of what? A GP defense of one, so I have a very good chance of taking it out. Question is, what type of ammo do I want to use? I'm actually going to use GP ammo. Yep, I'm actually going to do that. Now, does my vehicle have dual? I don't think my vehicle has dual. All right, no, they don't. Okay, so I'm going to use GP ammo. Now, I might have to check for availability. Uh, high explosive heat, smoke. All right. So there's no issue with availability. I don't have to roll for availability. Yeah, no problem. Necessary to fire GP ammo. M1 PA burns. All right, so it's GP and so it's going to be medium range, so it's going to need a five. So medium range, GPO is going to be five. And the GP defense, GP, oops, the GP defense for BMP2 is, oop, is one. So let's look at that. And it's considered an armor target. Okay, so we have a five and a one. So let's see what that becomes. So it's going to be 34, 63 with some modifiers. 34 to suppress. Uh, and 63 to to be effective. All right. So that brew up smoke doesn't doesn't actually affect it. I don't think. Uh, actually, yeah, it might. So now we look at the die roll modifiers. Target a type vehicle. I mean, we look at yeah. We look at the die roll modifiers. Target a type. Vehicle minus 20. Let's go down. There is no cover. Uh, the shooter is in damage, hesitating, broken. There is brew up smoke in the path, so it's minus 10. So you got minus 10. And let's see what else we got here. 
no Overwatch, no Ammo Limit, Dual Fire, no Hasty Entrenchments, E, Air Burst, NATO Target, Shooter Grade, and Weapon Sight. Weapon Sight is medium range. It's a laser sight, so it's going to be plus 5 laser sight. But it's going through a smoke hex, so it's going to be no effect. And then the unit quality is plus five for a veteran firer. Veteran unit firing at short range. At medium range, plus medium range. Make sure I get the right modifier. Uh, plus five. Plus five. No laser sight. Do do blue up. Can I use the thermal? Thermal imager. Let's see. Oh, laser stereo. LS. LSM. LSM. Let's see. LSM. So I'm looking for other types of sight sighting l no srm so okay so let's look right here so the die roll modifier will be minus 20 mi minus 30 minus 25 let's roll 92 minus 25 is I don't care. 72, 67, 73, 72, 67. So, effective fire. See, I, I told you. Yeah. I told you. I just. So now we go to the combat effects summary chart. Uh, it's going to be non-small arms GP, this right here. All right. So we go to oh. arms yeah I have versus a or P type vehicle oh. all right so Uh, special results, determination, and bail. Uh, if effective, only assures maximum GP effectiveness factor is greater than or equal to the target's GP defense factor. So we're looking at the Abrams GP defense one through four. So yes, it is. Okay. defense one through four and target as GP defense one. All right, so we have that. All right, if effective result on the final, the final modified result ends in five. So the final die roll was 92 and it does not end in a five or a zero. Right. So the final die roll does not end in five or zero. Five. 
zero. So we go down and it says, if an effective, okay, it's not damage or TK hit roll. Grew up equal to or less than the shooter's maximum GP effective factor. All right. Grew up if equal to or less than the shooter's maximum GP effective factor. So it'll be a brew up on one through four with a minus two die roll modifier. No, I don't think so. I don't think the target doesn't have a brew up modifier. All right, so let's see a BMP2, right? Go over here. Nope, I don't see a brew up modifier. Else, kale. So we roll, and it'll be KO. Now check for passenger. Oops, bail out. Let's see now. Effective result. Okay, effective result versus open. Okay. So now we check the bellow chart. I believe it's over here. Okay. So check the bailout table and we got a KO knockout. Okay. So the it's gonna be a leg unit. And 21 or greater, plus 10. So they're probably going to bail out. So 21 or greater, passengers bail out with a plus 10 dial modifier because they're undercover. and you can see that right over there that little two with the uh, line through it so we roll to see if they bail out and passengers bail out and are suppressed okay so that I said was number five right so we're going to remove number five now I don't have to add an additional K, no additional KO marker needed. As there is already one in the hex. Okay, so let's go over here. So that right there, the vehicle itself is eliminated. Remove the fire marker. And the infantry unit bailed out is going to be put in the hex and they're going to be suppressed. So I'm going to put a suppression marker on them. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, good. And that's it. All right. Uh, I just want to check to make sure there's no force morale check. Overrun, overrun. No flank attack. Okay. So the next vehicle will oops be remain. Ooh. <laughs> remaining BMP X firing unit is going to be so now we're going to put 
that one on the board. It's going to be this one right here. Put that on the board. Excellent. So it's right there, and it looks like that. Okay, good. All right, so that's going to be the next target. So I'm going to go up, and I'm going to look at the numbers, because it's going to be the same numbers. So it's going to be 34 to suppress, 34 or above to suppress. And 63 or above to be fully effective. And there's going to be a minus 25 die roll. 39 minus 25 equal 14. Fire, snow. And that's it. That's it for that fire. So now I can put that unit back on the card. There, unit number four. Take all those and put them back. Like that. There you go. Okay. Now, see the unit inside that. All right. So since they're under cover, I'm not going to put them as being under fire. If they were side the vehicle being fired on I would put them under fire so that's going to be it now for the fire phase that's the them being eliminated that's an extra one I'm going to put the firing units back on their spot oops all right We go just to re rearrange these a little bit neater okay there we go okay and that's it so next all right so we only only soviet units have fire command i don't know if any soviet units actually have a fire command uh take a look we have no command no command they have a move so the the one soviet unit that had a fire command was just eliminated so left with fire and nato units fire so combat phase is over all right so combat phase is now over uh when we come back i just want to take a look at one thing i want to take a look at sequence of play chart initiative phase combat phase and then we'll have the movement phase okay so combat phase thank you very much i want everybody to have a good day bye bye and log file